A robot can be defined as a machine or an autonomous agent that is capable of carrying out complex actions and tasks automatically, either by following a pre-programmed set of instructions or by using artificial intelligence to make decisions based on sensory input. There are many different types of robots, each with their own specific capabilities and characteristics, but some common features of robots include Sensory input, robots can sense their environment through a variety of sensors, such as cameras, microphones, and touch sensors. Actuation, robots can move and manipulate objects in their environment using various mechanical, hydraulic, or pneumatic systems. Control, robots are able to process sensory input and use that information to make decisions about how to act in their environment. Autonomy, some robots are designed to operate independently, without human intervention, while others are controlled remotely by a human operator. Overall, robots are machines that are designed to perform tasks that are typically performed by humans, often with greater speed, accuracy, and efficiency. Robots are currently being used in a wide range of industries and applications, and they are constantly evolving and expanding their capabilities. Here are some examples of what robots are making or doing now. Manufacturing Robots have been used in manufacturing for many years, and they continue to play a critical role in the production of everything from cars to smartphones. They can perform tasks such as welding, painting, and assembly with high speed and precision. Healthcare Robots are being used in healthcare for a variety of applications, such as surgery, rehabilitation, and patient care. For example, Surgical robots can assist surgeons in performing complex procedures with greater precision and control. Agriculture, robots are being used in agriculture to perform tasks such as planting, harvesting, and spraying crops. They can work around the clock and in difficult terrain, which can help to increase productivity and reduce labor costs. Logistics and warehousing, robots are being used in warehouses to automate tasks such as picking, packing, and transporting goods. They can work alongside human workers to increase efficiency and reduce errors. Service Robots are being used in various service industries, such as hospitality and retail. For example, some hotels are using robots to deliver room service, while some stores are using robots to greet customers and provide assistance. Overall, robots are being used in a wide range of applications and industries to perform tasks that are repetitive dangerous or require high precision or accuracy as technology continues to advance we can expect robots to play an even greater role in our lives in the future the first robot is a subject of some debate as the concept of an autonomous machine that can perform tasks has existed for centuries however many people consider the unimate to be the first true industrial robot the Unimate was developed by George Devil and Joseph Engelberger in the late 1950s and was first used in a General Motors factory in 1961. It was a large, programmable machine that could perform tasks such as welding, painting, and assembly. The Unimate used hydraulic actuators and a computer controller to perform its tasks, and it paved the way for the development of other industrial robots. While the Unimate was the first robot used in a factory setting, there were earlier examples of machines that were capable of performing automated tasks. For example, the Jacquard loom, invented in the early 1800s, used punched cards to automate the weaving of intricate patterns in fabric. Another early example was the pneumatic clock, invented in the 1700s, which used air pressure to perform its functions. The pneumatic clock was an early mechanical clock that used air pressure to perform its functions. It was invented in the 17th century by the Dutch physicist and inventor Christian Huygens, who is also known for his work on pendulum clocks. The pneumatic clock consisted of a sealed box or container that contained a small amount of air. The air pressure inside the container was controlled by a weight or spring that was attached to a piston or bellows. As the weight or spring moved, it would compress or expand the air inside the container, causing the piston or bellows to move. This movement was then used to regulate the movement of the clock's hands. The pneumatic clock was an important precursor to later mechanical clocks, which used a similar mechanism to regulate the movement of the clock's gears and hands. Huygens' work on the pneumatic clock helped to lay the foundation for the development of accurate timekeeping devices, which would later be used for navigation, scientific research, and a wide range of other applications. 
Military robots are machines that are designed for use in military operations, either to augment human soldiers or to perform tasks that are too dangerous or difficult for humans. There are many different types of military robots, each with its own specific capabilities and functions. Here are some examples. Unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs also known as drones, UAVs are used for reconnaissance, surveillance, and targeted strikes. They can be controlled remotely by a human operator or fly autonomously using artificial intelligence. Unmanned ground vehicles, UGVs UGVs are used for a variety of tasks, such as bomb disposal, reconnaissance, and cargo transport. They are designed to operate in harsh environments and can be equipped with a variety of sensors and tools. Unmanned underwater vehicles, UUVs UUVs are used for underwater reconnaissance, mine detection, and search and rescue operations. They can operate at great depths and in difficult underwater environments. Exoskeletons, exoskeletons are wearable robotic suits that can enhance a soldier's strength, endurance, and mobility. They can be used to help soldiers carry heavy equipment or perform tasks that would otherwise be too difficult or strenuous. Autonomous weapons Autonomous weapons are robotic systems that can independently select and engage targets without human intervention. While there is ongoing debate over their ethical and legal implications, some militaries are developing and deploying autonomous weapons. Overall, Military robots are used to augment human soldiers and perform tasks that are too dangerous or difficult for humans. As technology continues to advance, we can expect to see the development of new and more advanced military robots. Exoskeletons have a wide range of potential applications beyond military use. Here are some examples of other potential uses for exoskeletons. Rehabilitation, exoskeletons can be used for physical rehabilitation after injuries or surgery. They can help patients regain strength and mobility in their limbs by providing support and resistance during exercises. Industrial and construction, exoskeletons can be used to reduce the risk of injury and fatigue for workers who perform physically demanding tasks, such as lifting heavy objects or working in awkward positions. They can also help workers maintain proper posture and reduce the risk of repetitive strain injuries. Healthcare. Exoskeletons can be used to assist healthcare workers in lifting and moving patients who are unable to move on their own. This can help to reduce the risk of injury to both the patient and the healthcare worker. Sports and athletics Exoskeletons can be used to enhance the performance of athletes by providing additional support and reducing fatigue. They can also be used to help athletes recover from injuries more quickly. Assistive technology Exoskeletons can be used to help people with mobility impairments to walk or perform other physical tasks. They can provide additional support and assistance to help people with conditions such as spinal cord injuries or multiple sclerosis. Overall, exoskeletons have the potential to revolutionize a wide range of industries and applications, from healthcare to sports to construction. As the technology continues to develop, we can expect to see more and more innovative uses for exoskeletons. The biggest robot ever built is the Bagger 288 or Excavator 288, a giant excavator used in open pit mining. It was built by the German company Krupp in 1978 and is still in operation today. The Bagger 288 is 220 meters, 721 feet, long, 96 meters, 315 feet, high, and weighs over 13,500 tons. It has a massive bucket wheel that is 21.6 meters, 71 feet, in diameter and contains 18 buckets, each of which can scoop up to 15 cubic meters, 529 cubic feet, of material at a time. The Bagger 288 is powered by an array of electric motors and can move itself using a system of caterpillar tracks. It is capable of excavating up to 240,000 tons of material per day and has been used to extract coal and other minerals from open pit mines in Germany. While the Bagger 288 is the largest robot in terms of size, there are many other large and complex robots used in a variety of industries and applications around the world. There are many small robots that have been developed for various applications. Here are some examples of the smallest robots. Nanobots Nanobots are robots that are on the scale of a nanometer, or one billionth of a meter. 
They are typically made from materials such as DNA or silicon and can be used for a variety of medical and industrial applications. Microbots Microbots are robots that are smaller than a millimeter. They can be used for tasks such as sensing, exploring, and even delivering drugs within the human body. Swarm robots Swarm robots are small robots that are designed to work together in large groups, often mimicking the behavior of insects or other animals. They can be used for tasks such as environmental monitoring or search and rescue operations. Insect-sized robots Insect-sized robots are small robots that are designed to mimic the behavior and movements of insects. They can be used for tasks such as exploring remote or hazardous environments, such as disaster zones or other planets. Miniature robots Miniature robots are small robots that are typically a few centimeters in size. They can be used for tasks such as cleaning or inspecting hard-to-reach areas, such as pipes or ventilation systems. Overall, small robots have a wide range of potential applications, from medical and industrial tasks to exploration and environmental monitoring. As technology continues to advance, we can expect to see more and more innovative uses for small robots. Nanobots, also known as nanorobots or nanomachines, are robots that are on the scale of a nanometer or one billionth of a meter. They have the potential to revolutionize a wide range of industries and applications due to their small size and unique capabilities. Here are some examples of what nanobots can do. Medical applications, nanobots can be used for a variety of medical applications, such as drug delivery, cancer treatment, and disease detection. They can be designed to target specific cells or tissues within the body and can be used to deliver drugs or other therapeutic agents directly to those areas. Environmental Monitoring Nanobots can be used to monitor the environment for pollutants or other hazardous substances. They can be designed to detect specific chemicals or other substances, and can be used to provide real-time data on environmental conditions. Industrial Applications Nanobots can be used for a variety of industrial applications, such as manufacturing, quality control, and materials science. They can be used to assemble or manipulate materials on a molecular scale, which could lead to the development of new materials with unique properties. Energy applications, nanobots can be used for energy production and storage, such as in the development of more efficient batteries or solar cells. Information technology, nanobots can be used in information technology, such as in the development of new data storage devices or in the creation of faster and more efficient computer processors. Overall, nanobots have the potential to revolutionize many different fields and applications. While much of the technology is still in the experimental stages, the possibilities for the future are vast and exciting. Microbots are robots that are smaller than a millimeter in size. Due to their small size, they have unique capabilities that can be applied to a variety of different fields and industries. Here are some examples of what microbots can do. Medical applications Microbots can be used for medical applications such as drug delivery, tissue repair, and even surgery. They can be designed to navigate through the human body to specific locations and perform targeted tasks. Environmental monitoring Microbots can be used for environmental monitoring such as monitoring water quality, air quality, or detecting pollutants. They can be designed to detect specific substances and provide real-time data on environmental conditions. Industrial applications, microbots can be used for industrial applications such as quality control, inspection, and maintenance. They can be designed to access hard-to-reach areas and perform tasks such as cleaning or repairs. Agriculture, Microbots can be used in agriculture to monitor crops and detect issues such as pests, disease, or drought. They can also be used to apply fertilizers or pesticides in a targeted and efficient way. Exploration Microbots can be used for exploration in environments that are difficult or dangerous for humans to access. For example, they can be used to explore caves, underground tunnels, or even other planets. Overall, Microbots have the potential to revolutionize many different fields and industries due to their small size and unique capabilities. As technology continues to advance, we can expect to see more and more innovative uses for microbots. Swarm robots are robots that are designed to work together in large groups, often mimicking the behavior of insects or other animals. 
they can be used for a variety of different applications and have unique capabilities that can be applied to many different fields. Here are some examples of what swarm robots can do. Environmental monitoring, swarm robots can be used to monitor the environment for pollutants or other hazardous substances. They can work together to cover large areas and provide real-time data on environmental conditions. Search and rescue, swarm robots can be used for search and rescue operations, such as after natural disasters or other emergencies. They can work together to cover large areas and locate people who may be trapped or injured. Agriculture, swarm robots can be used in agriculture to monitor crops and detect issues such as pests or disease. They can work together to cover large fields and provide detailed data on crop health. Construction, swarm robots can be used in construction to assemble or move large objects. They can work together to lift and move heavy materials or to assemble large structures. Military applications, swarm robots can be used in military applications for reconnaissance, surveillance, and other missions. They can work together to cover large areas and provide real-time data on enemy movements or other important information. Overall, swarm robots have the potential to revolutionize many different fields and applications due to their ability to work together and perform complex tasks. As technology continues to advance, we can expect to see more and more innovative uses for swarm robots. Insect-sized robots, also known as microbots or microdrones, are robots that are small enough to mimic the size and behavior of insects. Due to their small size, they have unique capabilities that can be applied to a variety of different fields and industries. Here are some examples of what insect-sized robots can do. Environmental monitoring, insect-sized robots can be used for environmental monitoring, such as monitoring air quality, water quality, or detecting pollutants. They can be designed to navigate through small spaces and provide real-time data on environmental conditions. Medical applications, insect-sized robots can be used for medical applications such as targeted drug delivery or tissue repair. They can be designed to navigate through the human body to specific locations and perform targeted tasks. Search and rescue, insect-sized robots can be used for search and rescue operations in small or confined spaces such as collapsed buildings or underground tunnels. They can navigate through small spaces and locate people who may be trapped or injured. Agriculture, insect-sized robots can be used in agriculture to pollinate crops, monitor crops, and detect issues such as pests or disease. They can navigate through small spaces and provide detailed data on crop health. Surveillance, insect-sized robots can be used for surveillance and reconnaissance in small or confined spaces. They can navigate through small spaces and provide real-time data on enemy movements or other important information. Overall, insect-sized robots have the potential to revolutionize many different fields and industries due to their small size and unique capabilities. As technology continues to advance, we can expect to see more and more innovative uses for insect-sized robots. Miniature robots, also known as microbots or nanobots, are robots that are very small in size, typically ranging from a few millimeters to a few micrometers. Due to their small size, they have unique capabilities that can be applied to a variety of different fields and industries. Here are some examples of what miniature robots can do. Medical applications, miniature robots can be used for medical applications such as targeted drug delivery, tissue repair, and even surgery. They can be designed to navigate through the human body to specific locations and perform targeted tasks. Environmental monitoring, miniature robots can be used for environmental monitoring, such as monitoring air quality, water quality, or detecting pollutants. They can be designed to navigate through small spaces and provide real-time data on environmental conditions. Industrial applications, miniature robots can be used for industrial applications such as quality control, inspection, and maintenance. They can be designed to access hard-to-reach areas and perform tasks such as cleaning or repairs. Agriculture, miniature robots can be used in agriculture to monitor crops and detect issues such as pests or disease. They can navigate through small spaces and provide detailed data on crop health. Exploration, miniature robots can be used for exploration in environments that are difficult or dangerous for humans to access. For example, they can be used to explore caves underwater environments, or even other planets. 
Overall, miniature robots have the potential to revolutionize many different fields and industries due to their small size and unique capabilities. As technology continues to advance, we can expect to see more and more innovative uses for miniature robots. Rocket robots are robots that are designed to assist in the process of launching rockets and spacecraft. These robots are used to perform a variety of tasks, including launch pad operations. Rocket robots are used to perform tasks on the launch pad, such as installing and removing equipment, checking systems, and preparing the rocket for launch. Payload handling Rocket robots are used to handle payloads, which are the objects or instruments that are being sent into space. They can help to move payloads into position and secure them to the rocket. Maintenance, rocket robots can be used for maintenance tasks, such as inspecting and repairing the rocket and launch pad equipment. Monitoring, rocket robots can be used to monitor the rocket and launch pad systems during the launch process, providing real-time data and analysis to engineers and operators. Overall, rocket robots play an important role in the process of launching rockets and spacecraft helping to ensure that launches are safe, efficient, and successful. As technology continues to advance, we can expect to see more advanced and sophisticated rocket robots being developed and deployed. Smart bombs are not considered robots in the traditional sense, as they do not have the ability to move or act independently. However, they do incorporate advanced technology and sophisticated guidance systems that allow them to be highly accurate and effective. Smart bombs are guided munitions that can be directed to a specific target with a high degree of precision. They use a variety of guidance systems, such as GPS, laser, or infrared, to accurately guide the bomb to its target. The guidance system allows the bomb to adjust its flight path during its descent to ensure that it hits the target precisely. While smart bombs do not have the ability to move or act independently like traditional robots, they do incorporate advanced technology that allows them to operate with a high degree of autonomy. They are often used in military operations where accuracy and precision are critical, and they have proven to be highly effective in achieving their intended targets with minimal collateral damage. Household robots are robots that are designed to perform various tasks in the home, such as cleaning, cooking, and security. They can provide convenience and assistance to homeowners by automating routine tasks and providing added security. Here are some examples of household robots. Robot vacuums, these robots are designed to clean floors by using sensors and cameras to navigate around furniture and other obstacles. They can be programmed to clean on a schedule or manually controlled with a remote or app. Robotic lawn mowers, these robots are designed to mow the lawn autonomously. They use GPS and sensors to navigate and can be programmed to mow on a schedule. Personal assistants, these robots can help with tasks such as setting reminders, making phone calls, and even ordering groceries. They use voice recognition technology to understand and respond to commands. Security robots, these robots can be used for home security by monitoring the home and sending alerts if any unusual activity is detected. They can also be programmed to patrol the home and detect any potential threats. Cooking robots, these robots can assist with cooking tasks, such as chopping vegetables or stirring ingredients. They can be controlled manually or programmed to follow recipes. Overall, household robots can provide a variety of benefits to homeowners by automating routine tasks and providing added convenience and security. As technology continues to advance, we can expect to see more advanced and sophisticated household robots being developed and deployed. Robots play an important role in space exploration, providing critical support for human missions and performing tasks that are too dangerous or difficult for humans to perform. Here are some examples of robots used in space. Rovers, rovers are robots designed to move across the surface of other planets or moons. They are equipped with cameras, sensors, and instruments that allow them to collect data and perform experiments. The most well-known rover is the Mars rover, which has been exploring the surface of Mars since 1997. Robotic arms, robotic arms are used to perform a variety of tasks in space, including maneuvering payloads and performing maintenance on spacecraft. The Canid arm, developed by the Canadian Space Agency, is a robotic arm that has been used extensively on the International Space Station ISS. Probes, 
Probes are unmanned spacecraft that are used to explore and gather data about planets, moons, and other celestial bodies. They are equipped with a variety of instruments and sensors that allow them to collect data and transmit it back to Earth. Drones, drones, also known as quadcopters or unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, are used to survey and map areas on other planets or moons. They can be equipped with cameras and other instruments that allow them to collect data and images. Assistive robots, assistive robots are used to provide support for human missions in space. For example, the Robonaut is a humanoid robot developed by NASA that is designed to assist astronauts with tasks such as maintenance and repairs on the ISS. Overall, robots play a critical role in space exploration, providing support for human missions and performing tasks that are too dangerous or difficult for humans to perform. As technology continues to advance, we can expect to see more advanced and sophisticated robots being developed and deployed in space. Robots, like any technology, can encounter a number of problems. Here are some of the most common problems with robots. Malfunctioning, robots can malfunction due to hardware or software issues, leading to errors in their behavior or performance. Limited adaptability, while robots can be programmed to perform specific tasks, they may have difficulty adapting to new or unexpected situations. Expensive, the development and maintenance of robots can be expensive which can limit their accessibility to individuals or organizations with limited resources. Safety, robots can pose safety risks to humans if they are not designed, programmed, or operated properly. For example, a malfunctioning robot arm could injure a worker if it is not properly secured or calibrated. Ethical concerns, as robots become more advanced and capable, there are growing concerns about the ethical implications of their use. For example, the development of autonomous weapons raises questions about accountability and control. Job displacement, as robots become more capable and efficient, there is a concern that they will displace human workers in certain industries, leading to job loss and economic disruption. Overall, robots have the potential to provide numerous benefits to society, but there are also challenges and risks associated with their use. As technology continues to advance, it will be important to address these issues and ensure that robots are developed and used in a responsible and ethical manner. Yes, robots can become self-learning through a technique called machine learning. Machine learning is a type of artificial intelligence that allows robots and other computer systems to learn from data, without being explicitly programmed. There are several machine learning techniques that robots can use to learn from data, such as supervised learning, Robots are trained on labeled data, which is data that has already been categorized or classified. The robot uses this data to learn patterns and make predictions. Unsupervised learning, robots learn from unlabeled data, which is data that has not been categorized or classified. The robot uses this data to find patterns and make predictions. Reinforcement learning, robots learn through trial and error, by receiving rewards or punishments for their actions. The robot learns to perform actions that result in rewards and avoid actions that result in punishments. By using machine learning techniques, robots can become self-learning and improve their performance over time, without the need for human intervention. This can lead to more efficient and effective robots that are capable of adapting to new and unexpected situations. Robots can be programmed to follow ethical principles and rules but there is a debate among experts on whether robots can truly understand ethics in the same way that humans do. Currently, robots can be designed to follow specific ethical principles or rules, such as the Asimov's laws of robotics. These principles provide guidelines for how robots should interact with humans and the environment. Additionally, robots can be programmed to consider ethical implications when making decisions, such as when autonomous vehicles must decide how to avoid accidents. However, some experts argue that true understanding of ethics requires human emotions and experiences, and that robots cannot truly comprehend the nuances of ethical decision-making in the same way that humans can. In any case, it is important for developers and designers of robots to consider ethical implications and design robots in a way that minimizes the risk of harm to humans and the environment. This includes ensuring that robots are programmed with ethical guidelines and are transparent in their decision-making processes. While robots can be programmed to mimic human emotions, 
there is still debate among experts as to whether they can truly learn empathy and apply it in the same way that humans do. Empathy is a complex human emotion that involves understanding and sharing the feelings of others. While robots can be programmed to recognize and respond to certain emotions, they do not have the same capacity for subjective experiences or emotions that humans do. Therefore, it is unlikely that robots can truly understand and experience empathy in the same way that humans do. However, researchers are exploring ways to develop robots that can demonstrate empathy-like behaviors, such as responding to a person's emotional state or expressing concern for their well-being. This could be useful in applications such as healthcare, where robots could provide emotional support to patients. Overall, while robots may be able to mimic e, 